Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be giving you a quick overview of my project Campus Network Design using Cisco Packet Tracer which I completed for Sakhar Arabia University. This project is about designing a secure, scalable and efficient network connecting the main campus, the EDC branch and an external cloud server. Stay with me as I explain the main ideas and then demonstrate this configuration in Cisco Packet Tracer. To give you an overview, this project ensures uninterrupted communication and traffic management for Sakharaibi University. The network connects the main campus with multiple departments, the ADC campus divided into two floors, an external cloud server that hosts the university's email services. The key technologies that I used are VLANs to segment traffic logically, RIPv2 for dynamic routing between campuses, and DHCP to automatically assign IPs to devices. Now let's jump to the configurations. Here is the network design I created in Cisco Packet Tracer. Let me walk you through it step by step. In the main campus, each department is assigned a separate VLAN for logical traffic segregation. All switches are connected to a core switch which routes traffic to the main campus router. In main campus, there are four blocks, academic block one to three and the admin block. Each block contains uh, different departments like CS, computer science, CSE, computer system engineering, and they have separate VLANs from uh, one to eight VLANs there are. In the EDC branch campus, it is divided into two floors, each with the distinct VLANs. The floors are connected to a core switch which links to the branch counter. And in ETC branch, there are different VLANs on different floors, ground floor and first floor, containing 9 and 10 VLANs. And third, cloud server. The email server is hosted in an external cloud. It allows the campuses to communicate with external entities securely. To connect all these VLANs, I configured trunk ports between switches. Trunking enables multiple VLANs traffic to flow over a single physical link. For example, the link between the core switch and the main switch is a trunk port carrying traffic for VLANs 10, 20 and 30 and so on. Now let's look at the trunking configuration. In Cisco Packet Tracer, I set the interfaces between switches to trunk mode. This allows them to carry traffic from multiple VLANs. For example, here is the trunk configuration. The port connecting the core switch to the main switch is set as a trunk port. This ensures smooth traffic flow across VLANs without interference. To validate the setup, I'll run a ping test between two devices in the same VLAN but on the different switches. Usually the pinging process takes time that's why I'm fast forwarding it. As you can see, the ping is successful, confirming that the trunk is working perfectly. Next, let's look at the RIPv2 routing and DHCP setup. RIPv2 dynamically updates routing tables, allowing seamless communication between the main and branch campuses, as well as the cloud. This eliminates the need for manual route updates. For IP management, I configured DHCP on the routers to automatically assign IPs to all devices in the network. This simplifies administration and ensures that devices get the correct IP addresses without manual input. Now let's validate the entire setup. As you know, we did the ping test before. Now we will be doing the PDU test, testing that inter-department communication is valid or not. As you can see, the connection is valid. We will be doing more PDU test between interdepartments and inter-campus communication to make sure the connections are valid 
and successful so the connections are successful as you can see and we'll test the cloud also from the main campus to cloud and from cloud to another campus i'll fast forward it in conclusion or we can say the outcomes that were observed were first interdepartment communication devices in different vlans can communicate without any issues second all devices are receiving ips automatically through dhcp like i said before i assigned dynamic ip and third inter campus connectivity like the main and branch campuses are fully connected it ensures inter campus connectivity and fourth one cloud server access devices can successfully access the email server hosted in the cloud this confirms that the network is functioning as expected to conclude this project showcases practical implementation of a secure and scalable campus network using cisco packet tracer vlans improve traffic management rip v2 enable dynamic routing and dhcp simplified ip assignment for future improvements i recommend implementing hsrp for redundancy second exploring qos to prioritize all traffic and preparing the network for ipv6 adoption thank you for watching if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next one